Morphological ultrasound scan is part of the prenatal screening program for congenital anomalies. The aim of this examination is to carry out a detailed study of the fetus's organs to determine whether they have formed correctly or whether there is an anomaly. In the event of detecting any malformation in the fetus, we will clearly inform the patients of the findings, the prognosis or the repercussions that this anomaly may have for the future child, as well as the different options, possibility or not of treatment, follow-up, etc. If no anomaly is detected in the examination, we can reassure the patient. Morphological ultrasound can be performed between 18 and 22 weeks of gestation. Ideally, it is performed on the 20th week. In this week, the visualization of the organs is better than in previous weeks, and in addition, if an anomaly is detected, it makes it possible to carry out the necessary complementary tests to complete the study, such as abnosynthesis or for genetic study. This is why morphological ultrasound is also known as 20th week ultrasound. It is advisable to follow a systematic orderly approach during the examination. This will improve detection rates. This systematic approach includes the study of the head and intracranial structures, the face, the spine, the thorax in which we will visualize the heart and lungs, the abdomen in which we visualize the stomach, liver, gallbladder, kidneys and bladder, the extremities upper and lower, not forgetting the fetal sex. During the examination, we will also take a series of measurements of the fetus to check that its growth and development are adequate. After studying the fetus, the location of the placenta, the umbilical cord and the amount of amniotic fluid should be assessed. Although ultrasound can detect a large number of malformations, we must be aware that technique also has its limitations. Some malformations manifest themselves later and may not be present when the morphological ultrasound is performed. In addition, there are factors that may interfere with the fetus's correct visualization, such as the presence of scars or a large adipose paniculus in the maternal abdomen. 3D and 4D technology allows a better visualization of some fetal structures, such as the face, the spine and extremities. If any abnormality is detected in these structures, 3D ultrasound can help parents to better understand the defect in the fetus. And if all is well, the visualization of the face, the movement of the arms, the hands, using 3D and 4D ultrasound is a very exciting and rewarding experience for the parents. We currently use morphological ultrasound to screen for two potential serious pathologies that can occur in the second half of pregnancy, preeclampsia and premature birth. Preeclampsia is a disease that causes, among other symptoms, an increase in maternal blood pressure. By measuring the blood flow through the uterine artery, we can select the group of pregnant women who are most at risk for this problem, which allows us to monitor them closely. For preterm birth screening, we measure the length of the cervix with vaginal ultrasound. If the cervix is shortened, we have treatments that can prevent the onset of preterm labor. And finally, we must not forget that this ultrasound must be performed with appropriate technology, high resolution ultrasound, and must be carried out by a professional expert in obstetric and gynecological ultrasound.